with global demand going higher and higher, solar panels and other electric vehicles. And Talking silver here today with Silverstorm and Greg. Great to have you here. You brought some nice charts along on global demand for silver. Hi, Arne. Yes, it's very interesting to be looking at silver these days. We see explosive demand coming in silver going forward, especially in photovoltaics, essentially solar panels. And you can see on the silver balance uh, chart, you can see that in 2021, 2022, 23, and 23, there's been massive deficits in silver, meaning that there was much more demand for silver than uh, production. And we think that's going to continue as the majors are finding it more and more difficult to replace their reserves. So some of the fundamental reasons behind what we believe is going to be a very explosively higher silver price in the future. The question, of course, is with the silver price currently at $22, that's already a good base right now. And it's holding up at this level but when is the silver price going to increase due to this deficit or how long can this deficit be detached from the price well we've seen in other commodities that deficits can only last so long but ultimately the fundamentals will drive the price higher you know i would hope that this starts uh, taking hold later this year especially when we layer on another effect if there's a uh, lower interest rates around the world we would expect that to be another driver for higher silver prices but for sure with global demand going higher and higher solar panels and other electric vehicles and, and other applications of industrial silver use continue to grow for sure the silver price is going to respond so that's one of the external factors to our company that can drive shareholder returns you know we have a number of internal factors but you know when you think of silver these are some of the external factors and to add to that of course china is currently deploying record amount of solar projects in the kubuyi desert for example there is a eight gigawatt project now going live just to put that into context so far the biggest project has been in Dubai with one gigawatt so we're seeing very large numbers here being deployed and that should have an impact on silver demand as silver is a key component in solar panels yeah absolutely China is still far and away the leader but the rest of the world is starting to see the efficacy of, of using solar panels and want to catch up so you know thank you for raising that it's just another factor making being in the, a silver as a commodity and silver company producer that's where you want to be in the silver space in absolute numbers also on electricity demand we see a massive increase as there is more electrification whether that's cars or heat pumps different use cases that are driving the absolute demand for more electricity so that's coming on top of the efforts of decarbonization so greg we remain bullish and positive and optimistic for silver in 2024 and talk soon